Hey guys, it's Crazy Airborne. I'm gonna just go through a basic tutorial, beginner tutorial, of Sony Vegas. I'm using Pro 11, but Pro, um, the previous versions, 9, 10, etc., should be pretty close um, to this. It might have a little bit of a different look, but all the basic stuff is the same. So, the first thing, you open it up, it probably will look something like this. Um, the first thing to do is to get rid of all this extra junk on the screen. So, basically, we don't need this sound master thing. We can just go up to this X and close it. We do want to leave the preview screen up. We can delete. This is the trimmer screen. We don't need that up. And then this is the Explorer. I don't ever use it. I only use Project Media Transitions Video Effects Media. So I'm just going to close this by going up to the X. Closing that. Another way to do it is just to go and uncheck everything you don't need. Just leaving Video Preview. Project Media Transitions Video Effects Media Generator. So now we're good like this. Um, also, you want to make sure you go to File, Properties, and make sure that you have your template set up correctly. So we can go, I use, um, I suggest using either HD 720 60p, that would be a HD 720p video, or a full HD video which would be 1080p right here, 1920 by 1080 at 29 frames per second. So I personally am just going to use the 1080 and I'm not going to touch anything else. Everything else should be pretty pretty standard. So now we have our layout and this is how it looks. Um, it's really it's, a, it's such a great program. Let's just get right into it. Let's say you have a clip when you want to import it in. First thing to do is to go to import media. It's right there. I just clicked it. Now browse for the media clip you want to use. I'm just going to use this random battlefield image video I should say so it put it in the project uh, bin or whatever you want to call this so now we can just click it and drag it down onto the timeline down here and it created tracks the top one is the video track the bottom one is the audio track um, and I, if I, as I click around it moves this cursor around this cursor is just kind of like where your video is in, in in its time in the time and this shows what you're doing on the screen so let's just edit this down a little bit um, let's find a cool spot let's, the first thing to do that you're probably going to do is you're going to end up um, editing out the pieces you don't want and I'm just gonna edit it down so that it's just that helicopter flying by because that's really cool so the first thing to learn is how to split let's split the file up and we do that by hitting S if we hit S right in the spot that we want it, so I just moved the cursor by clicking and dragging it, and I want it right before the helicopter comes out, so I'm going to hit move it right there, and then I'm just going to hit S on the keyboard, and that splits the file. And if I click the part I don't want, I can just delete it. Clicked it, and then hit delete on the keyboard. Now I'm just going to click and drag this over, and let's see, I want to split it after the helicopter goes by like that. So I'm going to split it right about there. I think there's another helicopter in here. I think I saw that. There's one right there. So I'm actually going to keep that helicopter in two. So I'm going to split this one and the helicopter goes by and I'm going to split it again right there. So I'm going to delete that middle clip and delete the end clip. So now I have two clips and that's great. So we learned how to split by hitting S. Another thing we can learn here is grouping and ungrouping. Right now, these two, video and audio, are grouped. And that means when you move one, they're together. Which is good because they're, you know, keeping the audio with the clip. This audio is actually not game audio, it's just uh, microphone audio. And I don't want it in my, in my clip. So I'm going to ungroup and delete the audio. So the first thing I can do is just click either or and click U. Now U ungroups them, so look, they are now separate entities. I can click the one I want to delete and hit the delete button. The same on this, I'm actually going to delete the audio. So, well, we'll leave it for now, but um, ungroup. Okay, so we have our two, our two clips. Let's say, oh no, actually I want that back, so I can just drag it back and it, um, you can see it kind of snaps into place, which is really handy, and then I can shift and click the other one so they're both selected and I can hit G to group them back up so now they're grouped back together again so that's grouping and ungrouping a very handy thing to know 
and I'm gonna ungroup and delete that audio again. And you can you can group two video files together. G. Now they're connected. And ungroup them. All right. We can also um, put. Um, let's say you have a th a third clip. I'm gonna go to a media generator now. This there's lots of different things. I just clicked media generator here. We can go to uh, let's put in a random one. A blue movie border. That sounds cool. So I'm gonna just click it, and I'm gonna drag it onto the file that I want it on. And you can change the gradient. You can change all the properties, color and everything. Blues, cool, whatever. Insert a video track. I just right-clicked over there to insert a video track. If I pull it up on top, there we go. So now it puts a border around my video. That's cool, right? And we can click and we can drag it out to extend it across the whole thing. So now there's a border across the whole video. And I'm going to put these two together. And I can click and drag this down. So now there's a border around the whole video. I wanted to show you uh, a fade. Let's show you a fade. You can fade. Now, you can scroll in, scroll, I should say, scroll up with your mouse, and it zooms into your project. So you can kind of have a more detailed grasp of where exactly you are in your project. You can zoom out, and you could see your full project if it was really long or whatever. That's what I'm doing there. So let's just uh, do a little fade. If I put my mouse over to this corner of the screen here, it pulls up this little icon that is the fade icon and I can click and drag in and now it'll fade in and we can do the same with your border so it doesn't just look weird now if I hit play look at that it fades in see that fade in I'm using these buttons down here this is just normal uh, pretty self-explanatory buttons you have play pause stop go to the start go to the end previous frame next frame so it fades in. Um, we can also do a transition. Let's say, even though you don't really need a transition because these two are so similar here, let's say you wanted to add a transition to those two clips. We can go to the Transitions tab and do a. Hmm. Let's do something crazy. Nine diamonds in yellow border. Let's do that. So I can just click and drag it in between those two clips. And I can change colors and everything. This is just an example. So now, it's transitioning there. And if the two clips were very different, you'd you you know you'd obviously see it. Actually, let's just do that real fast. I'm going to insert a media-generated solid color so you can see it transition. So I just went to media-generated solid color. This is good to add like a black on the background if you want to just have a title screen that's black or magenta or whatever color you can just do this generated media thing yes solid color it's way too long so I'm just gonna click and drag it down to size and then I'm going to grab that go back to transitions and grab that one that I liked and pull it onto right there so now we have this transition to black and back out and I'll show you another type of transition here you can do it's a lot easier I like the effect. It's more subtle. You can just click a clip and pull, push it on. Oh, it actually already has. Let's uh, take out that transition. Delete that transition. All I did there was um, I'll show you. I clicked the transition itself. Clicked the symbol, and you can delete any effect or transition by clicking this green "Remove Selected Plugin" button. So I clicked it, anyways. A transition that's really subtle is a fade transition, and all you do is drag a file on top of another file, and it does a fade from one to the other. And since it's black, you, you know, it looks like a regular fade, but yeah, there's a transition to black, and then a fade transition back out. And it wasn't a very long transition, because I didn't make it very long, but I can make it longer, and it won't be so fast. So there you go. There's transitions. Um keeping this basic we can also do text let's do text so let's let's pull this out so the borders the whole time and let's throw some text in here I'm actually gonna the easiest way I found to do it is just create another video track so it's on the top and let's go to make sure we're clicked in that that track and go to insert 
text media and you can see it put it right over here and let's name this battlefield bf3 that's cool right and let's also highlight it and change the font to something random um, stencil that looks more battlefieldish we can change the color color to red color to green it's bright and the size actually doesn't matter in Sony Vegas 11 um, because you can while this is open go over to your video preview screen and you can actually drag it bigger you can actually move it this way too let's just do it like that it's perfect there so now there's text on top of the thing and you can make the text fade in and fade out so it's not so abrupt and you see all I did was click in the corner so now the text will fade in and fade out with some random transitions in there keyframes real quick we'll touch on keyframes just so we cover it but it's a more advanced thing we'll go event pan and crop and keyframes in the same deal let's say this text it's a good way to teach you keyframes I just clicked don't want to go too fast here this button right here event pan and crop and then I am scrolling out to see the whole screen a little bit better now if I click this corner and drag out it's actually making the battlefield 3 thing uh, smaller and this is how you animate things on your screen and that's what keyframes do down here you have your timeline for this clip and this is the how long the length of time that the uh, text is on the screen and by having the cursor in the middle right where it was we created a keyframe there when we started moving this around now if we decide to if it's not working quite like this make sure you have um, this set to move freely so click until it's moved freely click that to be unchecked and make sure this says locked aspect ratio and also you want to make sure that sync cursor is clicked so that it's syncing your cursor um, in this project to your cursor in your video preview so I like to do that so I can actually see the video preview changing so s what we're doing is we're setting up a keyframe which is basically recording the spot where you the change in what you did with your panning and cropping so right here I'm just gonna right click and hit restore so now it's back to normal so now we can actually delete that keyframe Ooh, there's a couple keyframes there alright so we'll go to the very beginning the very beginning we're fading in you can see it over in the video preview now let's say we want actually in the beginning let's say we want the battlefield 3 word to be on the left so since we'll make sure the cursors in the very beginning of the text we'll move this to the left and it's gonna go across the screen so let's go to the, the the end of the clip and move it to the right so it curated a keyframe at the end with the word on the right so now it is automatically going to animate itself and that's what a keyframe does it creates an animation or a movement or whatever see that on the video screen so now it's really cool because it animated it across and that's a keyframe panning and cropping um, allows you to again move stuff around on the screen zoom in on things um, make things bigger like we could do it like this so now it's going to in the center it's gonna get bigger and wow oh, we moved that one didn't we go back to that one move this left so now it should get bigger and get smaller because as you can see the animation from left to right was still there and in the very center keyframe we made it big so that's pan crop you can also rotate so we could do this actually if we go all the way upside down it'll completely spin yeah look at that so we just created this really cool effect with pan crop and keyframes and it's gonna go pretty fast oh it goes all crazy but this is just basics and I think the last step is to render it so just to make that effect a little bit better we'll stretch that out 
So we'll just watch it in the preview screen real quick. So we have our helicopter going by, we have our word coming in, it's spinning all around all crazy. And then it's transitioning and fade transitioning and it's done. Alright. Now we can render. Um, what I like to do with video games, one tip real quick is to make sure you have all the the uh, video highlighted. So we'll just uh, click on one end since there's a few clips here, and I'll click on the other. I'll shift and click the other end so they're all selected, and I'll right click and go to switches and go to disable resample because for some reason it makes video game footage blurry if you don't disable resample. So you got to learn to do that every single time. Um, all right, now we're gonna render. So let's go. I just left clicked and dragged all the way across to select my area and I'm gonna to go to file render as and I like to render it as and I suggest doing the same internet HD or a internet HD 720 if you are recording in HD then you can render in HD if you record at a lower uh, resolution it won't look as good if you render it in a higher resolution but I record in 720 so I'm going to render it in 720 and you choose where you want to save it to save it to the desktop call it um you know battlefield 3 clip and hit save and then it will render it takes a little bit depending on how big or long the video is how fast your computer is and it is now rendered and i can hit open i always like to watch it to see what it looks like in full render totally cool. Our transitions are awesome. And there you go. Hope this helps guys. This is just the basics. Um, but it should hopefully help you, you know, get into Sony Vegas. And uh, thanks for watching.